Maestro. Greetings, all you brilliant motion people. In the scene files for my previous tutorial, I included a custom HDRI I'd made to get some sweet reflections for that project. And I will now quickly go through how you can make your own custom HDRIs. So grab onto your Wacom pens and let's do this. So over here in Cinema 4D, I have a few different setups. The first one is just a product studio with a massive softbox over here and a few slightly less massive softboxes in the ceiling. And then another quite massive softbox right up front. And in this scene, I do have global illumination activated, so when I render it, it looks something like this. Now the second setup I call Mint Studio, because I've got these uh, very colorful softboxes in here, and with the green softbox and the blue softbox, it gives kind of a cool mint-like light. And as always, there will be a download link for the scene file in the description. And in there you can find a small softbox rig I made, just to set up these scenes. It's uh, quite simple, but quite useful. So if I then render the Mint Studio, it looks like this. Nice and uh, colourful. Finally we arrive at something I call City Flat. And it's this lovely uh, zero bedroom, very spacious open plan apartment. Nice big uh, windows, double aspect. Located in the centre of a very detailed city. It's available immediately, unfurnished, for, uh, shall we say, £400,000, considering good location and, as you can see, lovely view as well. You should, however, be aware that there is no door, uh, but then again, there is uh, no glass in the windows, so you could just uh, climb in through one of those. Anyway, uh, back to the matter at hand. Um, to create this HDRI, I will start by making a simple sphere. Uh, I'll then move that up so it doesn't intersect with the floor. Let's focus in the camera on that and then just create a really simple material for our sphere. It's going to have just reflection, so I'll turn off the colour and I'll delete the specular and create just a simple, perfect Vong reflection. When I add that to the uh, sphere and render, you can see how it reflects the entire environment, including the shadow of the sphere itself. We don't want that, so I will just add a uh, compositing tag to the sphere and in there I will uncheck cast shadows, so when we render it's completely uh, shadow free. Next step is to add something called a bake texture tag. And what that does is that it, well, bakes textures into an image. And in this case I usually go for either an EXR file or a Radiance file, because both of those are 32 bit and we need that many bits to make our dynamic range high. And I will also make sure to make it a bit bigger than that and make sure it's twice as wide as it is high so the pixels stretch properly when we then apply it back to a sphere or a sky object. I'm also going to uh, pick a sweet spot on my hard drive where I save the finished file. That looks as good a place as any. Then in the options tab, I can select which shading properties I want to bake and I just want to bake the reflections. I'm going to select reflection and then all that's left to do is hit bake and wait for it to finish. So once that is rendered, we get this, a perfectly unwrapped HDR image. And this is going to wrap perfectly around either a sphere or around a sky object. I also rendered out the other ones, here's what the Mint Studio looked like, and this is what the uh, Product Studio looks like. I'll also show you what it looks like in Cinema 4D with this applied to a sky object to light a scene, in this case a scene full of balls. Starting with the city flat, it looks like uh, this. As background object, the HDRI is probably not high res enough, you can see it's a bit low quality there. But for lighting, it works perfectly. Up next is the Mint Studio. Give that a render and it looks like this. Nice moody dark with a few uh, brighter colours in there, that's quite nice. Let's jump over to the uh, Product Studio, which looks like uh, this rendered, with the uh, reflections of the stripes and the balls. That is uh, probably all the allowance I have to say balls in this tutorial, so uh, I would like to thank you for your time. I hope you found this useful, and until next time, as always, stay in motion. Maestro. Maestro.